frequency derivative property of Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of xt is x omega then we will find out the Fourier transform of Txt here x omega is integration of xt e to the power minus g omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity now we will differentiate x omega with respect to omega so in the right hand side e to the power j omega t is the function of omega so this differentiation or d by d omega is operating on e to the power minus j omega t so d by d omega x omega is now integration of xt minus jt e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity so d by d omega x omega is minus j integration of t x t e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity now we will bring this minus j to the left hand sides so it, it becomes plus j so d by d omega x omega j d by d omega x omega is now integration of t x t e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity now we will compare the expressions for x omega and j d by d omega x omega in first integration x omega is the Fourier transform of xt and uh, here we have txt so this left hand side is the Fourier transform of txt so we can write this if Fourier transform of xt is x omega then Fourier transform of txt is j d by d omega x omega and if it is t to the power n t to the power n xt then in the right hand side or its Fourier transform is j to the power n into nth derivative of x omega with respect to omega so this is the frequency derivative property of Fourier transform let's see one example of this property Fourier transform of e to the power minus 2t ut is 1 upon 2 plus j omega now the new signal is t e to the power minus 2t ut we have to be careful about one thing that after product of after multiplying t this the signal sh should remain bounded then only we can apply this property this t x t or t to the power n power n x t this should be bounded then only we can apply this property
this t into e to the power minus 2t ut this signal is bounded signal so we can find out the fourier transform of this signal using this frequency derivative property and it is j into d by d omega of 1 upon 2 plus j omega and uh, and this differentiation is minus 1 2 plus j omega to the power minus 2 into j that is j into j is j square that is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus j omega square so Fourier transform of t e to the power minus 2 t u t is 1 upon 2 plus j omega whole square see we know the Fourier transform of u t and it is 1 by j omega plus pi del omega now if we try to apply the frequency derivative property in case of u t if I multiply t in u t then this t u t t u t becomes unbounded signal and for unbounded signal we cannot apply the frequency derivative property because signal becomes un, un, uh, signal becomes unbounded so its Fourier transform does not exist or Fourier transform becomes infinite so this is the frequency derivative property of Fourier transform